I'm gonna go off on. A, I'm gonna go out for a time Olympian. I'm gonna do that. You know what I mean? I always deliver. My my life is always overcoming some shit, and I'm always gonna overcome some shit in this. Shock the world always. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what I always do. I've been with Matt since 2018. One of his longest ones that he's just got done with. You know what I mean? And what Matt's protocols he gave me, I decided not to do those protocols. You know what I mean? The amounts. I'm gonna listen to everything, all that other stuff. I don't have to listen to that. So when everybody was coming at Matt saying this, saying that, that's some bullshit because y'all adults and y'all decided to do that. Now you want to blame it on him. I think that was up that they try to assassinate that man's character because of bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is extreme sport. It's funny how you actually don't even consider it training unless it's at the highest intensity. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm yeah. back. Well, no, you never left. You just weren't training as hard. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Oh, now, man, there, that's there's, okay. There's a, there's okay. a guy. Okay, yeah. now, I knew I needed to talk about something. All the people saying that I won't do it again, I'm gonna show them up because I'm gonna do it again. All right, we're rolling. Charles, tell me, uh, t tell me again about your training. Like, I know you're back to two leg days a week right now, right? How's how's it going? Are you? Do you find that you're stepping up intensity, like within the last little bit here after announcing that you were going to retire? Or do you feel like you're kind of really looking to push harder around this time, or like, t tell me what you're training? Yeah, man. You know, like, I, you know, I'm, I'm one of those type of people. Like, I know I got sponsorships. I know I got this. I know I got to post on social media, this and that. But when I'm not feeling it, I'm 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 not a fake person. I'm not gonna be putting bullshit out here, this and that, that and that. So I just wasn't feeling because I had some decisions to make in life, and 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 if I'm gonna keep going another year, this and that. And I, after I announced that I'm about to, you know, after I announced I put it in the world, this is my last year, like a flip switch, and it was like, damn, here we go. I've been searching for this flip to switch, and that this. You know, the pressure, the, the the heaviness on my shoulders just released. And now it's like the last week I started getting into it. And this week it's been like great. You know what I mean? Putting back to two leg days, two leg days a week, you know, and I'm uh, hitting, doing push day, you know, to bring back up this chest to where I wanted to get to. I'm doing three push days a week. You know what I mean? I usually do chest on Mondays and Fridays. So now I'm doing just a little accessory work on Wednesdays, uh, just to get everything up. So I'm just pounding the ground, man. I'm about to do six days of training, one day off. It's my last year to 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 bring that nasty, you know what I mean? And I got a lot of left in the tank, but it's just like, am I ever going to win Mr. Olympia? No, that's always the goal, man. Be Mr. Olympia, this and that. I'm getting older. I've been doing this for 10 years. It's going to be the 11th year. It's like, okay, you know, I made a name for myself. I made, I got a successful business. Um, you know, I, I'm appreciative of bodybuilding and save my life and everything like that. And now it's just time to like make that decision. Like, okay, like I did top 10. I'm three time Olympian, this and that, that and that. So it's like, why not make it four times and then just call it cuts, you know, and call it quits, you know what I mean? And that's where I'm on. And now I'm just in my groove, man. Like listening to my music in the gym, I'm dancing and doing all kind of, you know, I'm just getting back to, I'm getting back to Charles. I'm getting back to what I, how I am, my personality, my character just loving this shit, you know what I mean? So now it's it's on, you know what I mean? I ain't got nothing to prove, I ain't got nothing to lose, but I'm gonna go off on, the, I'm gonna go out for a time Olympian, I'm gonna do that, you know what I mean? I always deliver, my my life is always overcoming some shit and I'm always gonna overcome some shit in this shock the world always, you know what I mean? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do what I always do. You just leave it right there, that's your message. We'll just end the podcast right there. <laughs> <laughs> No, listen, listen. Okay, okay. Let, let let me go back a little bit here. You're doing three push days a week. Break, can you break down your push days for me? Like, how many how many exercises per push are you doing? So, like for uh, for Monday chest day, right? And then I I, okay. I I do a little bit of I do a little shoulders in that. I might do some. Uh, I do little lateral raises, little uh front raises to hit the pec and everything like that. And then um and then on Wednesday I do um. A mixture of both. I do a couple, two or three exercises of chest, two, two or three exercises of um of um of push of uh, shoulders, and then shoulders, Friday yeah, is shoulder, yeah. and then Friday is shoulder day. So then I just add in a couple 
chess days in there too. You know what I mean? Like I'm just wrapping okay. things up, man. You know what I mean? Just to get everything back to firing on all cylinders. Yeah, your your Monday is chest dominant with a little bit of shoulders, and then you're yep. split on Wednesday, and then you're shoulder dominant Friday and a little bit of chest there. Yes. Okay. What what about uh, what about arms? Where do you fit in arms? You know, arms like arms. That's what I do. I do those on Monday. I do arms on Monday, and I do arms on Friday. You know what I mean? I mix in with them because I usually okay. do arms on a Wednesday. I don't need bigger arms, but I love just training arms. So I always do one. So I'm going to take away Trainer, that. Arms is the best thing to train. Anybody that says that arms isn't their favorite thing to train are guys that say le- like, yeah, your favorite thing is legs. No, you love training arms. Come on. <laughs> so I'm going to just do a couple exercises on each of those days. You know what I mean? Like, and it's going to be all, man. I'm just, I'm just excited to get back. I'm just excited. I got this feeling again, man. I've been searching for this feeling and it's here and I got that feeling and, you know, and I'm about to just get nasty with it. <laughs> no, that's good. That's, that's good, man. No, getting back to that style of training, especially, right? Like that's not really a typical style of training where you do three push days throughout the week. I've heard of doing an emphasis of one and supersetting it with another on one day a week, you know, from Monday, maybe to Friday to have that time in between, but go on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, training six days a week. Most people are preaching more time off when it comes to training. Now, personally, that's not me. Okay. That's yeah. not me. I yeah. train five days a week. I have to train five days a week. I yeah. don't do four days a week. I can't do th- like, it's just, I don't feel like I'm doing anything productive enough. And I know that people say, well, if you can't do it within four days and you can't do it within this many sets and this many exercises, then you're doing it wrong. Well, then I guess I'm doing it wrong. But what I've yeah. been doing for 20 years odd has worked to an extent. You know, it was actually Fuad. I watched a a clip of Fuad um, where he was talking about the muscle growth that he did over the years that he, uh, you know, trained hard for us and the way that he wanted to train. He he said there was something, some sort of quote that he had where he said something to the effect of if some science based guy would just come in and say, look, if you were to train this way, then you'd put on like maybe a little tiny bit more muscle. He said, I wouldn't do it because I wouldn't be able to train the way that I love to train. And yeah. I completely understand what he means that yeah. way, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I've just been taking a break. You know, I've been, I, like I said, I I got a, back around my people that knew me before bodybuilding. I left that world for 10 years because I yeah. was I was crazy in the head and I needed, I needed, I needed, I needed saving. You know what I mean? Bodybuilding saved me. So now that I got back around those people, riding my Harleys, had a great year riding the Harleys. Everybody like, what is he nice. doing riding yeah. the Harleys? What is he doing riding the Harleys? He's a bodybuilder. They see that I got through the whole season. And no injuries, no nothing. And I roll cross country. I'm traveling this and that. So I took rest. You know, my body's rested. So for me to ramp it up and go six days a week, like, it's going to be on because, like, my body's rested. Yeah. I was only on 250 milligrams of test for the last four months. Just, holy body. shit. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm off. I'm talking about when I let my body rest, I even dropped it down to, like, I was eating, like, three to four clean meals and then I have a cheat whatever I want to eat this yeah, and that. Yeah, so yeah. like I let the body rest all the way so now that I'm wrapping it back up the last two weeks I'm up to five clean meals and I got to add the next clean meal next week and six meals and it's just my body's resting man I haven't took this type of rest like this so it's like um, um my, my receptors my my body my joints my mind everything is just like Oh, we ready to kill this shit. You know what I mean? It's just like that's what it is. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm just happy to finally be here, man. You know, made that decision that I want to leave bodybuilding when I feel great. You know what I mean? I don't want to leave bodybuilding when I'm feeling like this, body broken down, and you know, I don't want I don't I'm it, I'm, I'm tired. I'm ready to just kill it one more time and just, you know, work on my business and see whatever's next for me. You know what I mean? No, I get I get exactly what you're saying. You feel like it's time. So if you feel like it's time, then it's probably the right time. There's a lot of people that don't make the call, you know, at some point past their prime. You know, I actually you see it in diving. There's guys that is just like, man, maybe you should hang up the fins, you know, and guys don't want to let it go. Yeah. Eventually, like the best thing you can do is, you know, do what you're doing and finish on on top as, as high as you can go. You know, your yeah. very best. The last time you step on stage being your very best. Talk to Lee Haney, you know, he did it. Yeah. Seemed to work out pretty good. Legend. So I, I get it. Yeah. And and you and you feel like you're going to be able to bring your best. Fantastic. You feel like you're in the right place to do it. Fantastic, oh, yeah. man. 
Well, uh, one thing I got to ask you, though, I, I got to fill in a couple of blanks here about, about the training portion. Um, you said you're doing two leg days a week. And uh, so there's five uh, days a week. Is your six day back? Like it's back uh, its own day? Yeah, back is on day. Back is on. Oh, yeah. So when I say I'm, I'm, I made a mistake, I made a mistake. I train arms on, uh, I train arms. So I do arms on uh, uh, Friday. I do some arms on Friday and I do biceps on back on Tuesday. So it goes. Monday is chest yeah, okay. dominant with a little shoulders. Tuesday is back day with biceps. Wednesday, we're going to do a little mixture of a push. Thursday is hamstrings. Friday is shoulder dominant with a little with a little chest and some triceps. And off triceps, Saturday, yeah, yeah. Off Saturday, and then Sunday is quad day. You know what I mean? I've been going six days a week. Okay. Like, like, I, like, it's hard for me to take two rest days off. I started that when I first started with Matt back in the day. I did that, but it's like, man, now I, I've been doing six days with throwing in an arm day on Wednesday. You know what I mean? So now it's like, it is what it is, man. I'm going six days. I don't care what nobody say. And I'm just going to be, Ugh. <laughs> Are you going to do it yourself this year? You're going to work with somebody. You know, I'm going to work with somebody. I'm going to work with somebody. So I'm just like, you know, I'm 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 seasoned vet. I know what I'm doing with my body. You know, I know what sure I got to do. do. So what I'm going to do is this, this, this push coming up. I'm going to push for like the for a good three to four months. I'm going to push by myself, get my body all machine, and then I'm going to find who I want to work with and show them what I've been doing. And, you know, and I need I need a second, get another second set of eyes because I don't want to. I just want to work and I want to do what I do. And you tell me what to do. You know what I mean? So, oh, yeah, I haven't I'm not sure who I'm going to work with right now, this and that, but. You know, I know a lot of people, but it's just I'm not just just not going to pick nobody because he's a good coach. I got to vibe with you. I got to vibe with you. I got to feel like I could sit down and talk to you. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure who I'm going to pick right now. But, yeah, I got, I'm not not going to do it myself. Not going to do it myself. Yeah. 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 You you don't need anyone to show you how to grow or you don't no. need anyone to show you how to do an off season. You don't need no. anyone to show you how to train. That's that's no. not what you want. You want someone for the contest, Brett. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, and I want yeah, to yeah. get them and I'm going to get with them a little bit before the contest prep. Give them like four weeks with me before a contest prep to see what it sure, is. Yeah. And then, you know, and then we just do what we do. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Well, we're not going to 2025 bit. yet. So you, you, you got, you got some time three, four months to do your bulk and then make your decision. Yeah. Oh All yeah. Right. Oh yeah. So I got the full month of November, December, January, February, and then I'm gonna look for somebody, and then I go March, and then with that coach for March, and then we start our cut for like June, July, August. So it's like J July, August, the late shows is gonna be the late shows, and I'm gonna do a couple of them. Why not? You know what I mean? Why not travel? Yeah, yeah. Why not go out the country on my last little route? You know what I mean? I'm gonna have a a group of people that's gonna be coming with me, supporting me. So I'm gonna have a little fun this year and collect a couple checks before I go out. Have you ever competed in internationally? No, I haven't. I haven't. I've been internationally okay. doing bodybuilding stuff, but I never actually competed internationally. You know what I mean? Um, that's okay. going to be like that. That will be like my second show. You know what I mean? That'd be like my second show. First show is not going to be uh, out the country. First show is going to be somewhere here. Then the second show will be out the country. And that's just all about collecting the check. You know what I mean? Having a good time and sure. seeing what yeah. it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The international shows are really becoming the place to be, man. I mean, yeah. you know, there's there's the staple shows here in the U.S. and and even Canada. I mean, I don't want to. Uh, Toronto Pro has been a really really good show the last few years, right? It's getting a lot better when it comes to the the quality competitor, right? Really good lineup there. Vancouver is a sleeper show, but yeah. you can see a guy just come in and say, "I just need a qualification." He'll go and look at doing something like Vancouver. That's not unheard of. Although that's had really good lineups in the past couple of years too. You know, Robin Strand has yeah. gone out there. Morgan McDonald was at his biggest out there, right? There was, there was some good competitors there. Oh, so yeah. the Canadian shows, yeah, you should think about a Canadian show. That'd be oh, all yeah. right. <laughs> I go to that. <laughs> but uh, but you look at like the Dubai Pro giving away a hundred grand, you know, and Pittsburgh talking about hundred thousand dollar prize purse. It's like, man, this is nuts. Yeah, it's nuts. It's it's pretty dope. I wish I would have. That I wish it would have uh, flipped the switch would have flipped sooner because the uh, Pittsburgh Pro would have been good. But I need a little bit more time than a Pittsburgh Pro to get ready and everything like that. Because if 
this is my last dance. I don't want to rush it. I want to be right. You know what I mean? I want to step yeah, on the yeah. stage confident. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, I seen that piss per pro out of that and I looked at it. I'm like, oh man, I need to switch the flip. It flipped a little too late. <laughs> Uh, Pittsburgh will be good, but those uh, those later seat like getting on August on kind of thing. Um, I think Dubai was in August this year. Yeah, that was a really yeah, good show. Yeah, no the uh, the third and fourth quarter of bodybuilding is the one that I I usually find the most exciting. Like you've got yeah. the Arnold, you got the New York, obviously that that comes up, but yeah. third and fourth quarter, who's still left to qualify? Who do we still have to see? You know, I I always yeah. enjoy that part of the yeah, uh, of the yeah. season. So that's what I'm looking for too, man. That's where that's where I'm gonna pick my show. So right now I'm not even worried yeah, about yeah. it. So. Right now, I'm just, you know, just loving the training, man. It's exciting. Like, oh, I do still love this shit. It was just uh, uh, just a mental barrier that was messing with me. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's all yeah. now, man. Like, yeah, firing on all cylinders. Yes. It'd be a different experience in your, like, you'll never experience anything like this in your, in your pro. And a lot of guys don't, right? There's a lot of yeah. guys that don't announce their retirement well in advance. Some some guys never announce their official retirement some people like that. Some people don't. I think that I think I get that it kind of gives you that weight off your shoulders like you were talking about. And the fact that you can bring, like you said, your team with you when you travel, have that experience around people yeah. that you want to be. So is is that what kind of led you to wanting to do the announcement? Yeah, no, I just let me do an announcement was just like because I was like, like, I, once again, I'm not a fake person and I'm not just posting shit on IG just to post shit on IG. So I've been gone from IG for a minute and now I didn't want to just pop up on IG and be like, oh, I'm lifting weights again. I want to keep it real with everybody. Like, this is why I've been quiet. This is what I've been going through. This is what it is. And that's why I did that. You know what I mean? I just want to be transparent with everybody, let everybody know where it comes out because that's how I've always been with as a character. So I just didn't want to pop up. Oh, I'm doing ladder raise. Oh, I'm going hard again. No, this is where I've been at in life. This is what I've been thinking about. And now this is what it is. And now y'all going to see me again. Yeah. Anyone that's been training long enough knows that eventually everyone has to take a break, whether you're stepping back on intensity, whether you're giving your body a break uh, for whatever the fucking reason is, everybody has to take a step back every so often. I'm actually starting to feel that way now. I pushed, I pushed hard this summer and getting into the fall, right? And yeah. still pushing hard. With my job, that can affect training. It's it's yeah. an obvious thing, you know? So eventually something has to take a step back here. I'm actually at a point now where I'm going to pull back on, I'm still going to train my four or five days a week when it comes to pulling back, but yeah, still training anyway. Like the, the, you, you were still training, right? Throughout that time. You didn't stop oh, yeah, training. I, I was still training, but I was just like, Oh, it was you're not you're not like, you're not pushing like a maniac. No, it was punk work. It was getting it's just yeah. maintaining, making sure I keep keep what I got, and, you know, stay stay in striking range. I didn't want to fall away too far from striking range. So I was just making sure I kept blood going through the muscles, staying thick, and that's all I was doing. You know what I mean? So yeah. It's funny how you actually don't even consider it training unless it's at the highest intensity. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm yeah. back. Well, no, you never left. You just weren't training as hard. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. So I don't count that. You know what I mean? That's me just going. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Going. I don't count that. You know what I mean? But now I'm back to like uh, pushing. Yeah, that see, shit, that's you know I mean? that that's that's hard training, right? That's yeah. that's how I enjoy to train, right? I yeah. enjoy the hard training. That's you feel like you're really doing something. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So what's what's the goal? Make it to the to the Olympia. Make it to the Olympia. Figure... Don't do and don't do worse than what I did the uh, last time. Place in top yeah. ten. You know okay. what I mean? It's always it, it's. I don't want to do worse. You know what I mean? It ain't like oh, yeah, I'm yeah. just making it. I'm just making it to Olympia and a four time Olympia. No, 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 no. I make it to the Olympia and don't and, and 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 do as good as I did last time or better. You know what I mean? It's not talking about oh, I made it to the Olympia. It's a win. I'm a four time Olympia. No, I'm. I'm fucking Charles Griffin. I want to place top 10. You know, I want to be in that top 10 again because that's where I left off at. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's plain and simple. You know what I mean? And all the people saying that I won't do it again, I'm going to show them motherfuckers I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Especially doing a couple of shows now this year and, and having another coach that you're going to be working with, all that shit, knowing that this is going to be the last of rock. That's that's when you see some guys bring it, man. That's yeah. when you see some guys yeah. bring it. Now, yeah. look, okay. I'm not going to ask you 
where you think you would have placed in the Olympia lineup this year? Because I think one, it's a redundant question. Of course, you're yeah. going to say it would have been top 10, but I, no. What did you think of this year's Olympia though? What did you think of the lineup? Okay. This is why this is, this is, this is where I'd be at on this type of stuff. Like I paid attention, but I didn't pay attention because that was driving me crazy because after you place top 10 and then you're not competing, you start to feel irrelevant. And you start to feel like, oh, this and that, that and that. So me on the sidelines watching all this and watching all that, all that's going to do is make me hate it even more what I'm going through right now. So I just okay. took a, okay. I just took a step back from everything. Like once you looked on my social media, social media explorer page, you didn't see any bodybuilding on there. It was like motorcycle cars and women. <laughs> that's what it was all over my stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was my explorer page. You know what I mean? Because... I had to get, I had to take care of Charles and get my head space right, get everything right. What? Well, Cause it's been exactly a year from the last time I competed on the Olympia stage. So it's like, I had to get all my stuff right. My, not just bodybuilding, living right, all my life right. So let me take a step back from watching all this, being glued to seeing this person. Oh, I would have did this or I would have did that. That would have made me even, you know, that would just put, that would just piss me off even more. So I took a step back and didn't really, dive into it like that. You know what I mean? People around the gym were asking me, what, oh, did you see that? Oh, okay, yeah, that person won. I, I watched the Olympia a little bit, but, you know, I just stayed away from, for the last year, I just stayed away from. After I went to Tokyo, Japan, and I decided I'm going to take a break, that's when I said, okay, it's time for me just to do life and put bodybuilding aside right now and get back to it when I'm ready to. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Well, what but did you think about Samson taking Samson, home the Olympia? But I was just about to say, but Samson, yeah, like Samson, Samson brought it. Samson looked nasty. That dude is just, he, he, he looked nasty. Um, and he's just getting better and better, better and better. Who I'm ready to see just get to that point. I want to see Andrew Jack because that dude's body is like that, that, that body, that's a pretty that's a pretty body right there, man. And I want to see him just he and he's just such a good dude, you know what I mean? Like he, oh, yeah. he's a cool he's a cool dude man and i like him so that's who i'm looking to see come crazy you know what i mean like when i saw the nick thing i was like whoa him dropping out that was that was pretty crazy you know what i mean that was that was coming from left field you know what i mean even the matt jansen thing you know what i mean that like that blowed up you know what i mean all that blowed up and everything people reaching out to me are you still with matt this and that like i ain't, i'm not answering anything because it's like um, I, I just didn't answer anything. It, it, it kind of was crazy, you know what I mean? So, it bodybuilding just you. No, no, man, you you took off at what some may consider the opportune time in bodybuilding because man, it went fucking nuts around yes. here with the drama with with Nick dropping out and then Matt and his whole thing with Quint Beastwood and then the Mike Van Wick thing, dude. Look. You didn't miss anything, man. Okay. No. <laughs> it you was know, one, a, it thing, was... one thing I I hate what all these people do, what these people do, man. Like, I'm gonna be straight up real. I never talk about certain stuff, this and that, that and that. But you know, man, no. Matt. So just just uh, I just want you to know though, that's how that's how I am too, right? Like when I did not make any videos on the whole Mike Van Wick thing. I did on the Matt Jansen thing one video, and afterwards I was like, you know what? This is just not really this isn't the con this isn't what I want to cover in bodybuilding. No. You know, I, like, I we're it's, all just, adults, it's just man. not. We're all adults, man. We're all adults. In, so in when theory, these people, yeah, in theory. So when, in theory. So when these people try to blame a coach for, blaming a coach for this, blaming a coach for that, blaming a coach for that, that's bullshit. You're an adult. You could do what the coach says. You could decide not to do what the coach says, or you could go to a different coach. Blaming a coach is strictly on a coach is bullshit. I've been with Matt since 2018. I've been with Matt since 2018, one of his longest ones that he's just got done with. You know what I mean? And what Matt's protocols he gave me, I decided not to do those protocols. You know what I mean? The amounts. Like the okay. amounts. On my mother's on my mother's grave, rest in peace. The most tests I've ever done is 750 milligrams of test. That's all I've ever done. I haven't did any more tests. People, I, I'm supposed to be doing two, three times more than that. I'm an adult. I decide not to do that. And I decide. You're a dope ass coach still, and I'm gonna have you do all. I'm gonna listen to everything, all that other stuff. I don't have to listen to that. 
So when everybody was coming at Matt saying this, saying that, that's some bullshit because y'all adults and y'all decided to do that. Now you want to blame it on him. I think that was fucked up that they try to assassinate that man's character because of bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is extreme sport. And what coaches ain't pushing drugs? What coaches ain't doing this? What coaches ain't doing that? But they just, they've been, they just been hating that man for a long time. And they just jumped on that bandwagon and just started melting him. And it's like, you guys are all adults, man. You didn't have to do what he said, or you don't have to do what that coach says. And so that's, that's why I say it's all bullshit. That's why I've always been like the black sheep of IMBB. I don't hang, I don't chit chat with all these dudes. I don't chit chat with that. Cause I didn't talk to some close people and they tell me something different. And then I hear them get on a podcast and talking, talking. It's a lot of fake shit going on in this IMBB and NPC with the athletes and stuff like that. That's why I stay away from everybody, man. And I stay doing my own thing. And I just seen that, man. I, I know I'm never I would never call anybody out. I never say names, this and that. But I know a lot of fake shit that's going on because they talk to me, say something, then they oh, oh, oh and then they start doing it up. Well, it's a lot of fake shit. So that's why. I always stayed in my lane way out here in Minnesota. I show up to the show, I kill everybody, and then I leave. You know what I mean? And I'm not buddy-buddy with anybody. You know what I mean? And that's what it is because it's a lot of fake shit. You know what I mean? That's just how I feel. No, there there is fake, real drama. I mean, any of it, I just don't enjoy. I don't no. enjoy it. I don't get caught up in it, you know? no. When it comes to when it comes to you and Matt, you you had good experiences with Matt. You just didn't want to do the amount of protocol. What did he know that you weren't doing those uh those, those no. amounts, or did he think you were doing them? He probably thought I was doing them. I never talked to him about it. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm like I'm like I would like it's my body. You know what I mean? It's my body. If I want to do that, then I do it. If not, then okay. I'm, I did pretty good on the amount of stuff that I took. You know what I mean? That's why like some of these yeah like that, that I feel great. You know what I mean? Aging like fine wine because. My first coach put it in my head and said, it's, you, you got crazy genetics and you like to train and the food. That's what it's about. And he put that in my head. And yeah. I thank God Tim Johnson put that in my head because he put that in my head. And that's been my whole thing. You know what I mean? I've been I was on 500 milligrams of tests up until 2018 and then 18 to currently I put I added 250 more milligrams of tests like that's I, I don't pump a lot and I don't do a lot and I'm an adult. So I decided not to listen to the protocol, but I'm going to listen to everything else. Did you not want to tell him because he may have thought he'd be out of control and not you, like you be seen as a client is not doing what your coach is telling you to do. So it, it, that's one thing that you hear a lot about, right? Like if you're not doing exactly what your coach is telling, telling you to do, then when you do check-ins, they're like, well, what the hell? I'm telling you to do this. And it turns out you're doing something else, right? When it comes to diet, when it comes to diet and cardio, I feel like, yeah. And I feel like you don't yeah. have to take a lot of, you know, when you got genetics and you like to work hard and this and that, I don't feel you got to pump a lot. And in order for me, if I would like, in order for me to get anywhere higher than where I got to this and that, I got to pump and I'm not going to pump. Yeah. So it's time for me to be done because I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? I'm not going to push myself to these limits to get sixth place or fifth place. I'm just not going to do yeah, it. Okay. You know what I mean? So that's where I'm at as where it was well, time for me just to step aside because I'm doing well for myself and it's just come out and kill it one more time. And that's what it is. But it killed me with all this drama going on with, especially with my man, Matt, man, I got nothing but love for Matt, man. And he don't deserve that, man. You know what I mean? Like, and I seen some of these other coaches just loving it loving it loving just to eat him up and it was like it was like y'all some s simple fake people that's what i feel like i'm gonna just be straight up real i don't, I don't care who, who what they people say there was there was a lot yeah there was a lot there's no getting around it do no. you think matt stepped away from coaching because of the reasons that he said like he's just distracted because he has a new passion for his triathlon training as opposed to bodybuilding or like do you, think he was, do you think he felt forced out that man is, that man is, uh, 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 he pays attention to detail. He's very detailed. He pays attention to this, pays attention to that. So yeah. when he stops doing that, that means he's losing the love for it. And and yeah. he's losing love for it. And, you know, life shit happens. Like, he had all this and all that, but they don't know stuff. They don't know the other stuff that happened in Matt's life that, that, that's distracting too. You know what I mean? So yeah. they just, they're sure. talking about this. Like I talked to Matt, I know certain stuff, like they don't know all that, but yeah, I, I honestly believe he didn't get pushed out. He pushed himself out because 
he got he, he got passions everywhere else. Not saying he doesn't love bodybuilding, not saying this, but he grew out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. He has another passion, his family, his his kids himself, you know, bodybuilding, the amount of people when I was with Matt, walking like with Matt, the amount of messages and texts, this and that, that, and that, that, and that, it was insane. And he has little boys and he has a family, he has a company and he has himself, he's trying to do different shit with. It's like, he's he's stretching himself thin. So it's like something yeah, has oh, to yeah. go. Something has to go and bodybuilding is a thing that go. So when he stopped paying so much attention to detail, then that's when it's like, oh yeah, he he had to go elsewhere. So I believe him and I know for a fact that's what it is. He didn't get pushed out. He just lost the passion of the shit. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, I get it. My, I got a seven-year-old boy. Uh, our girl is 16 years old now, right? Like we've got, it's, it's a, it, it can be a lot. Not everything can come in. I had to stop playing music, honestly. Like, I had a band on the go before I really was pushing YouTube. Man, can't do it all. Like, no. I got back to YouTube, right? That's something that I, I, I can understand from that point. I had to put something aside in order to pursue something else because there's so many fucking hours in a day, right? There's only yeah. so many. Yeah. It is what it is. What What about you? What about uh, What about after bodybuilding? What are you going to do? Do you know what you're going to do? No, nah, that's the scary thing. You know what I mean? I know I'm going to be, I know <laughs> okay, I'm going to be yeah. doing, I know, you know, what I am, man, you know, like the reason why, like when I was absent from social media, I got so many messages from people, this and that, that and that, ask me, I'm okay. They miss my stuff, this and that. I'm good with people, man. You know what I mean? I'm a people's person. People yeah. come to me, people come to me with their problems around here. Everybody calls me. Everybody comes to me with their problems. I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm a personal trainer, lifestyle coach, this and that, like, my yep. niche is lifestyle people. You know what I mean? Like I have some bodybuilders. I have, I have bodybuilders. I have a close group of bodybuilders. I have, I could have a whole team of them, but I decide not to, you know what I mean? I got lifestyle clients and I, I'm changing people's lives, taking care of people, making, putting people in better, healthy spots, putting better spots in their job because they're feeling better about them body. So I got a business to run this and that, that, and that, and that. And I know I'm going to be doing something else great after bodybuilding. You know what I mean? I'm going to be doing something, but that was a scary thing too. Like what's next? Cause this is Charles been the definition for the last 10, 11 years. And I'm going to still be the definition, but I'm just not going to be competing on that stage. So it's like, what's going to drive me then? So I'm going to find something, you know what I mean? I might, I might take up knitting or something. <laughs> yeah, you could you could do knitting. Let me know what you're yeah, coming yeah, up with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come get your definition trunks from me. You know what I mean? That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honestly, God, no, no. Look, that's uh, that's a question you're going to be able to answer over the next year, right? The places yeah. you'll go that you haven't typically been. You know, um, you've got your focus right now to be able to, you know. Oh, actually, that that's one question I wouldn't ask. I was going to say bulk up. How high in weight do you think you're going to go this time around for the off season? Oh, uh, no, nah, you know, like I said, my body works better on lightweight, light, lighter weight. I don't get up to the 280s no more. My threshold no? is like, my okay. threshold is like 263.5 and my knees are still great and I could go ham, you know what I mean? So there's no need for me to go to 270, okay. 275, 280 because yeah, I could still move that way, but I move better light and I'm going to build better muscle being light and being able to move and being active, you know what I mean? So I probably get up to like two, I'm going to get up no higher than 265, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I'm not going to push the weight. I'm just going to push the, I just want to be able to move. I like movement. I like to be able to move and get nasty. And that's what I've done the last couple of years and it's been working for me, you know what I mean? So some of these guys get up to, oh, I got up to 209. They 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 came to the stage at 250. And well, their, pre yeah. their, their off season, they were 300. And they went, they got to the stage and they were 245, 250. So they lost 50 pounds. The next off season, they got up to 320 pounds and their weight was 251 pounds, 252. Like for what? I'm I'm like my muscles built. My muscles is my muscles built. It ain't going nowhere. So all I need to do is refine and 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 and, and put on a little bit more. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Mm -hmm. What are you at now? Uh, right now I'm at 250. I woke up this morning at 250. So I got about okay. a good, I got a good 10 to 12 pounds to put on. You know, even this 250 is like, oh, I'm nowhere. You see the videos I'm posting. I'm nowhere near soft. I'm nowhere near soft. No, but no. Like this 250, 
when I was getting ready for Olympia and all that, it's a different 250. So the body composition is going to change here in the next few weeks. And this 250 is going to get harder. And then it's just going, it's going to take off the other way. So yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. You still got crazy definition, even through the quads and hamstring. that you can still see the, oh, yeah. the, the separation, you know, you can oh, still yeah. see oh, yeah. it. Like I said, Such I was good place to start. My- I was enjoying myself this summer, but I, man, you know, man, I, I'm not, I never let myself go. I, it's like, I was a little dude my whole life. So when I don't eat as much food or if I'm eating bullshit food, I don't get fat. I just get, I, I just lose weight. You know what I mean? So that's where it is with me. So I just stayed in striking range. You know what I mean? And like yeah, I said, I enjoyed, it, yeah. man, I enjoyed my summer this year, man, driving these Harleys, man. I was went to Milwaukee. I went to Chicago. I went to Nebraska. I put, uh, 11,000. Okay. I put 11,000 miles on my Harley this year. You know what I mean? That's, I was really riding and it, 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 was, it it's a joy of mine and it's always been a joy of mine and I didn't care about that joy. And then when I got back to it and I'm like, I love this and I'm like, okay, now I, now I care about this joy. It's, it's, it's my time to figure out what's next. You know what I mean? And yeah. You know, there's a trail here in Cape Breton called the Cabot Trail. It's a very famous uh trail for bikers and just highland scenery like it's it's world renowned actually minnesota's a, a bit of a, a bit of a go you'd be you'd be on a couple of week trip i'd say overall when it comes to you know from start to finish but the cabin trail is one that is is quite world renowned it's it is yeah. quite a trip there so no that's but you put miles on the bike is there anywhere that you went like uh like like the, but I don't I don't know how the bike trip works, right? Like, are you put like do you look ahead to say I want to get to this destination, or are you one of them bikers that would like say I want to go around this mountain, or I want to go to see this thing on the bike kind of thing? It, it just depends, you know, my, where my buddies want to go. We had a big bike event to go to, big bike event to go to in Chicago, and we just okay. rode from Minneapolis to Chicago burning it up, you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, 90, yeah. 100 the whole way moving. Everybody was like, what is Charles doing? Riding a bike, this and that, that and that. He's a bodybuilder, you know? And, you know, they were like, just watch. Like, I got through a whole season, no injuries, no nothing, this and that. Like, I ride right. Like, grew up riding. Like, I left that for bodybuilding, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? So when they asked me, what's your, what do you do besides bodybuilding at first? I used to be like, uh, I watch Netflix or... I watch TV and this and that. Now Nothing. it's like I ride, I ride motorcycles again. Now I can yeah, say okay. I, I okay. got back to one of my passions. You know what I mean? So yeah, it was it, it, it was a cool summer. You know, it was a cool summer, man. And now I got a, all my people that's with me with that. Like they're probably gonna think I'm from Tampa, Texas, or wherever I go. They're gonna be like, "What the fuck is he from here?" Because I'm gonna have a lot of people. You know, I'm gonna have a lot of people behind me and. It's gonna be it's gonna be a a, a a beautiful thing. It's gonna be a beautiful thing, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is gonna be good. Later season shows. Love it. I could yeah. uh yeah, I could see there, there there could be a couple there that I could see you going and doing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. it's on. It's on. Yeah, it's on. Yeah. When it comes to um when it comes to the twenty twenty four season here coming up though, is uh is there anybody that maybe did impress you from the Olympia that you're looking to stand next to on stage? All of them. <laughs> All of them? All okay. of them. You know what okay. I mean? Like, it, I've never been the guy that want, I want to go against this guy. I want to go against all of them. We the best no? of the okay. best. You okay. know what I mean? So I got videos I look at. I just started looking at when me, it was me and Regan on the stage when we were, it was yeah. already, Olympia's already done top 10. We're doing a pose off, me and Regan, me and Andrew Jack and all these guys. I got to just be with them. Like, I started looking at that. So it's like, I just want to stand next to all of them. Wherever the judges put me at, I want to stand and I'm a bring my energy and I'm going to, you know, do what I can, man. And that's what it is, man. So mm-hmm. I know, I know you mentioned Andrew. Um, what did you think of Andrew at the Olympia? Did, did you have a better look at him by chance? Man, you know, I, 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 I did. I had a better look at Andrew. It's just like, um, I think he was a little sharper at the show before. Texas. You saw, you saw him in Texas too. Okay. Yeah. 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 You know, I, I check on, yeah, I he check was. on, yeah, and he was a little sharper. So if he'd have brought that or a little better, I think he would have he would have placed better. But I still think he has a beautiful body, and I still think he should have placed a little higher. You know, if he was standing next to some other people, this and that. Mm-hmm. I think that's where like they kept him from standing next to people, so where people can't be like, look at this. You know what I mean? But I feel like I feel like if the, he gets next to some other people that place higher, higher than him, he's gonna start. You know, like. 
you can't deny it. You can't deny it. It's like, you know, it's just, it's crazy. So, yeah, that's that's one dude right there I'm excited to see break out. Like, Samson, man, I used to beat Samson. <laughs> I, used to, <laughs> I used to beat Samson. I remember when Samson saw me at the Chicago Pro, and he was like, oh, my God, Charles Griffin. Now, now, fuck you, Samson. Now it's like, oh, my God, this <laughs> fucking Samson Dowder. You know what I mean? The tables have turned, you know what I mean? Because... He, when he came to me, I'm like, oh, shit, you know who I am, dude, from way over here, this and that. Now with the tables are turned. It's like, shit, Samson, that motherfucker, man, that just goes to show, man, I'm, he's been grinding. And I did, that was 2017. That was 2017 or something like that when I beat Samson. And I think I beat him a couple of times, and he was just, like, praising me. Now it's like, oh, shit, now I got to praise your ass, Mr. Olympia. You know what I mean? Mr. Olympia. You know what I mean? So it, it's, it's pretty dope to see. It is. It's been real dope to see uh, his his grind throughout the whole thing because, like I said, Samson. I was in the first callouts and I was looking at Samson and whatever callout he was, and now it's like, damn man, you you're Mister Olympia. <laughs> Dude, a lot of people used to beat Samson. A lot of people used to beat Samson not even that long ago. You know? Yeah, not yeah, even that long yeah, ago. yeah, yeah. He so beat big everyone. Ups, big ups to Samson, man, for winning Mister Olympia, man. You can't deny his hard work and. The shit he's done, this and that, that and man. So that's big ups to that man, Samson Dollar, man. Hats off to him for real, for real. Yeah. Yeah. And I think he'll, I think he'll, I think he's got the potential to be even better at the Arnold coming up too, right? Yeah, so that's man. Like he's, to he's, see he's, him he's, and Andrew on stage, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he got, well, yeah, he's going to be better because he seems to get better every motherfucking time he shows up. And I'm, oh, man, that's, yep. that's off to him, man, for real. Samson Dollar, if you watching this, man, congratulations, brother. That's some good work, man. But I remember I used to beat you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, make sure to like and subscribe to uh, the channel here, too. <laughs> yeah, that too. That part, too. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's uh, that. It, it is going to be a really good battle coming up at the Arnold for those two. What about what about Derek? Do you think that Derek still has opportunity to, you know, make improvements enough to come back and win at this point? I don't think so. No, eh? okay. Derek, Derek is a lot dope. of people skeptical I, after what they saw this year. Yeah, like Derek is dope, man. He's a like he he's a he, he's a he's a good bodybuilder. He's a dope bodybuilder, this and that. But I think it's just like I don't. Yeah, he like, won Mr. Olympia. Yeah, he won Mr. Olympia. He's a dope ass bodybuilder. <laughs> but uh, I think he he had a good run. He's still gonna be placed in top high, this and that. But I don't think yeah. he, I don't think he could win it anymore. It's just like these Samson Dallas, these Andrew Dax these taller people, this and that, and they got more muscle mass. And it's like, he's still having problems with bringing up that chest. And then his, he's, when he dies down, he loses yeah. his legs and this and that. Like I said, he beats me. Can I be Derek right now? No. So I'm not talking shit. So I don't want the Derek fans to say he's talking shit. He's a better bodybuilder than you. Yeah, he is. But you asked me a question about him being Mr. Olympia. And I don't think he's going, I don't think he's going to win it again. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fair to say. It's fair yeah. to say. Yeah. Martin Fitzwater taking fourth. He really fucking came. Oh, now, man. There, that's there's, okay. There's a, there's okay. a guy. Okay. Yeah. Now, I knew I need to talk about some fucking Martin Fritz, man. That dude right 100%. there. 100%. Fourth place. 100%. Fourth fucking place did that. Hey, Martin did that too. I want to give a big shout out to Martin, man. Martin, fourth place, your first Olympia. What the fuck? That was, he brought it. He brought it, man. That's one person I ain't going to lie. I got excited. Martin, I ain't going to lie. Like I said, I cut it straight. Martin's a knucklehead. He's been a knucklehead a few years. You know, he's been a knucklehead saying this and doing that and being around the wrong people, this and that. And it was holding him back. You know what I mean? And he got away from certain people. He got away from that. He's closed his mouth and not saying this. And look what happened. Yeah. You got fourth place yep. at the Olympia. Martin was sick. Martin, if you watching this, brother, you fucking did that shit. That was nasty. I was... I was like, oh my God, Martin, they showed some shots against She's Martin and Heidi. Me they said uh, Heidi Coupon and Martin next to each other. I'm like, what the fuck, Martin? You stand next to Heidi Coupon and you all, you beating them on some shit. Hey, yeah. St stand next to Nick Walker and people say that you just won, right? Yeah. The show before that. That's really something, man. I was, I was sleeping on Martin Fitzwater even up until the Olympia, but... I mean, you just can't deny it. You just like, can't deny it, man. Samson, Samson was Mr. Olympia. That's like the he he won the bag. He won the trophy. That's the best dude on oh, the yeah. planet right now. That's best dude on the planet. But the shocker of the Olympia, Martin Fritz. 
hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. A lot of people had him in their top five, but not not the overwhelming majority. You know, I had him. I can't remember what I had him though. I don't think I had him. I had him in sixth or maybe seventh behind Hunter. I can't remember exactly, but man, I didn't have him in my him. top five. That dude brought it, yeah. man. That dude brought it. That dude brought it. You know what I mean? So I, I, I was real happy for Martin because he loves bodybuilding. Him and Brett, they get together. They love this shit. And he just had a couple misfortunes and, and you know, and this and that. And now those misfortunes, are like, like I say, whatever, it, whatever people go through, it's, it's not here to stay. It's just passing through. And that shit passed through. And now Martin hitting his stride. And he's going to, he's going to, he, 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 he's, he's killing it. Good for him. Yeah, good for him. No, he is. He's killing it. His his coach is killing it. Most of the guys from Matt went over to uh, to Basavotla over there. I know yeah. uh, Ch- Sean went over and, and he trains with them now. Uh, I think yeah. Brett Wilkin works with them now too. Yeah. Oh, Don't for sure. Me. You know, Martin does. Well, if he got Martin looking like that, and you're you and Martin are close friends, why why would you go anywhere else? You know what I mean? So hundred yeah. percent, man. Yeah, 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 hundred yeah, percent. Do you think that's someone you might think about working with? I mean, he's he's got everybody dialed in right now, man. Yeah, he does got everybody dialed in. You know, I never thought about him at first, but it's like, why not? You know, why not start putting him at the yeah. top of the list to think about, you know what I mean? Like, reach out to him and just see, you know, it, it's a possibility. You know, it's a possibility. But it's like, when it comes down to it, like, man... The years of me working and doing what I do, and if I get with a coach that just knows what they're doing, and we we put our brains together and this and that, it's going. Yeah. It, it, it it really doesn't matter what coach, you know what I mean? When it comes down to it, it does matter. You know what I'm saying? It does matter, but you it know, matters when it, it matters more so about the person that you want to work with this time, and not necessarily who's going to be considered the. One that'll, I shouldn't even say that because you're going to pick someone that'll give you good progress, but oh, it's yeah. more important about somebody that you want to work with this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. what it's always been. You know, I've only been with two coaches. I was with a coach okay. from 2014 to 18, and then from 18 to current, it was Matt. So I was never going to get another coach. I was going to retire with Matt, but after this, so I got to get another coach, you know what I mean? So I haven't been coach jumping this and that, these athletes that like, yeah, yeah. oh, they don't come in right or this and that, that and that. Oh, I'm jumping. I'm leaving a coach, man. 2019, me and Matt had the worst placing ever. I looked the worst I ever I, I, I did. And I didn't get, that was the first time never in first call out besides the Olympia. And first yep. time not in top five. And, you know, I was like, Matt had about to have his baby born. I'm going through shit like, it's it's oh well let's get it next time and we hit it after every time some of these people just jump ship so quick to go here go here i don't do that you know what i mean i'm gonna grind it out i'm a loyal person and and that's what it is you know what i mean and so i don't know i gotta find a coach you know what i mean that's what i gotta do but we'll see who it is yeah sure you you do see a lot of coach jumping and it's oh, not always from guys that have been in the game for i mean Look, after the five, seven year mark kind of thing, you know, you want to guys looking at making a bit of a change. I see things like that, but this every year or two switching coaches yeah. thing, it, it, yeah. I mean, just look, even Nick and his, you know, relatively short career in the IFBB, he was with Matt and then he went with Tom Super Slice and then he went back with Matt. Now, I don't know if you heard Nick's with a coach Kyle named Wicks. Kyle, Kyle Wilkes. Yeah. yeah the influencer know, know, coach yeah. is what he's yeah. uh, typically known as. Yeah. So that's an interesting one, you know, very yeah. interesting. I have no idea what's going to happen there. Yeah, I don't know either. You know what I mean? Like, mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see who you end up picking. We'll see who you yeah. end up picking. Yeah, that's what I'm interested in. It's going to be somebody dope. It's going to be somebody dope that I can work with. You know, I don't know. Yeah. I just, I'm not even worried about that right now. I'm just worried about seeing this scale move up and start looking extraterrestrial you know what i mean that's where i'm going for extraterrestrial look well you're 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 well rested and you know exactly where you need to be exactly where you want to go right now it's i think that you still have easily the potential to bring your best that we've ever seen on the stage oh yeah 100 you know, no because 100 no. i'd be done if i wasn't if i didn't feel like i could like i placed top 10 olympia like i could be like boom that's that might drop i'm done but i know i, I know i got more in me so that's why I'm like, yeah. well, why not? Why not show out one more time? It is a tough landscape in that top ten these days. I would say it's tougher. It was tougher this year than 
it was, I would say, when you were going in, right? I mean, these guys, like, we're seeing improvements from Andrew and Samson, obviously, Martin, come, like, there's, and Tonio. These, now, Tonio's a guy that you're going to see coming up. These my, these people are looking crazy, man. They're looking crazy. And that's why, like, I've been in the game for a minute right now, man, and I'm not ready to push against these guys no more like that, man, because, like, they're going crazy, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, like, uh, there's, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, there's life after bodybuilding for me, man. You know what I mean? There's life after bodybuilding for me. And I'm not trying to run my, my so to say, my dick into the dirt. You know what I mean? So it's like, no, I'm about to be just, uh, I, I'm in my lane. I found my lane and my lane has been good for me. You know what I mean? And I'm going to kill it in my lane. And I'm good with that. I'm good with that. You know, I had a client say, now you're back. Now it's time to win Mr. Olympia. You're going to win this year. I told him, no, that ain't real. No, I'm not going to win Mr. Olympia. <laughs> like, I was like, you know, they asked me and then other people like, yeah, it's time for top five in the Mr. Olympia. No, man, I'm not going to top must, five. These must be some of your uh, lifestyle clients. These must yeah, be some and of it's lifestyle like, even people. lifestyle yeah, clients, yeah, yeah. And even, even, even the bodybuilding clients, even though, you know, certain people are just like family yeah? members, friends, okay. like everybody, they're just like, they're Pro Charles, and there might be amateur bodybuilders, but they still the bodybuilder. They're just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They, they see me like this, and I'm, and I'm like, I'm gonna cut it to them real. No, I'm not gonna win Mr. Lim. Nope, top five. No, I'm not gonna do that. Um, and I'm being honest with myself. You know what I mean? But I know I'm a bad. I'm, I'm one of the top bodybuilders in the world still, and I know that. And that's hey, that's all I need to know. You know what I mean? And well, see um, to to these guys that like, especially the amateur bodybuilders, you could be the first guy of that size that they've ever seen to them you could be mr olympia right yeah and you start looking yeah. if they're if they're really not looking around the field and you know that's still cool you know that's yeah still you cool. know like we, we out we out here in minnesota man you know we out here in minnesota yeah. like the 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 you know when i won my show here i'm like i'm gonna get my pro card i'm about to go get my pro and then i step on a yeah. national stage and i'm like holy shit I'm like, oh, I mean, oh, what, <laughs> yeah, yeah. what are you? I said, are you a are you a heavyweight? Dude was like, no, I'm a middleweight. What the fuck? And I'm like, oh, Minnesota, you know what I mean? I've made like not to toot yeah. my own horn, not to toot my own horn and everything like that. People in Minnesota weren't getting pro cards like that. Bodybuilders weren't it, it wasn't a, a reachable thing until I came on the scene and and I was like, I'm gonna do this. And everybody's like, whoa, I see that I'm rubbing shoulders with this guy every day. And he said he's going to do what he do. I made it a thing in Minnesota to be like, oh, let's go get our pro card. Like, I put Minnesota on the map with, with that. Now it's like everybody in Minnesota is like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get my pro card. I'm going to get my pro card. When I started, nobody was getting pro cards. I made it I made it a cool thing in Minnesota. Are, are there many pros in Minnesota now? Yeah, there's some there's pros now yeah? in Minnesota. Okay. But in 2014, when I first started, uh-uh. And when I Nothing. turned pro in 2015... I made it, I made, I started putting it on a map in Minnesota. People like, holy, it is reachable for somebody in Minnesota. So we can do this. And then pro car started happening in Minnesota. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Is there, there's one thing that I did want to ask you about. We'll, uh, we'll, we, we've been on for about an hour. We'll look at wrapping this up here soon. But when it comes to the last, what, 10, 11 years of, of, of being a pro, is it 11 years or 10 for you? 10, 2015, I turned pro. Okay, so the, the last 10 years, is there any show that really sticks out to you of this was the show that like really, really got you hyped up or you really enjoyed that win? Like, is there one that sticks out for you? There there was, it's not even a win, but I, I don't care. Like That's, that's even my, better. That's, that's even better. That, that's my guy. Victor Martinez is my guy. Like, when I say okay. I love Victor Martinez, I love Victor Martinez. He came to my gym and it was just dope. Like, me and Victor is cool. Like, and Victor put me on the map. So when I did uh uh the show in Kansas, uh Chad Nichols show, I, I okay. that was I did the Kansas. So that year, I don't care what nobody says, I beat Victor Martinez. I felt like I got him, but I was the rookie out there, you know what I mean? But Victor wasn't on slouch, Victor was on point, but Victor beat me, and I got second place. And in my eyes, that was a win. Because I stood next to Victor Martinez, one of the legends of the sport, and I played second against him. And him putting me on his Instagram saying, this dude, Charles, this dude, Charles Griffin, round 3D, crazy looking, pushed me. I didn't win, but that was a win in my book. And then next year I went and won that show. 
Charles, yeah. there's not many guys that are still actively competing that can say they stood next to Victor Martinez, man. That's, that's what I'm cool. saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I'm in a, I'm in like, I didn't compete against that's, them. That's errors, a league. You know? Yeah, that's, that's a league, man. That's a league. Yeah. yeah. So I'd say, when I like, when I when Victor when I got second and Victor and I got off the stage and my coach was like, I said, no, man, that's fucking yep. Victor Martinez that I just played second against. <laughs> he took my Olympia qualification. I'm not mad at that. You know what I mean? He won that, and 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 he won, but I won. And then that's when like Nick Power Strength. And everybody was like, who, oh, the yeah. fuck th- who the fuck is this Charles Griffin? And then I just started going crazy. I started blowing up because the Victor Martinez showed me love, man. He was like, he shouted me out on his Instagram. My Instagram was boo-boo at that time. It was nothing. And he shouted me out. So that's one of the shows right there was my greatest shows right there and as a pro. As a pro, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So that was Kansas. What year was it again? Because I got to check that out. That was 2017 because I went back and won it in 2018. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 2017. Yeah, Matt, Matt said, Matt said, we're going to go back to that show. We're going to go back to that show and win it that year. But I wasn't with Matt at that first time. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I am 100% going to go back and check out those pictures for yeah. sure. Go check out yeah, those. I am checking yeah, that yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if uh Marks Max Muscle will do some sort of comparison on that actually. Yeah, that's gonna be it. good. <laughs> no. Well, look, Charles, you've got your last season coming up here, you know. I'm glad that I was able to ask you about a couple of the things that you've done over the last number of years here and what you want to get out of this year. You know, it's it's gonna be a good year for you, man. It's gonna it's a good story, is what I really like about it, you know. The yeah. the way that you're approaching this season and you know what you want to get out of it, and you still are still well within striking distance of making it, I think, into that top ten again, right? This is right. this is gonna be a very interesting year. Very interesting. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad I caught you actually before the season actually started. And then we get back, and then when we can, in a few months we get back and then we talk again, and you'd be like, What the fuck? Yeah, it's on. It's on, my man. Yeah. It's on. When you get to that, when you get to that two sixty three point five, see yeah. how you feel. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that sounds good. Well, listen, man. Thanks, uh, thanks again for for taking some time here. We'll we'll Appreciate chat again you. here in a little bit. Get through the rest of twenty twenty four here, and uh, we'll see what twenty twenty five brings. Appreciate you, brother. Always good to see you, my man. All right, you as well. All right, uh, that's going to do it for this episode of the Bodybuilding Breakdown. Catch you guys in the next one.